Hey there. So, uh, after going around the Cabot Trail, Franny Trail today, and then hanging out at uh, Cape Smoky again. I made my way down here to Lawrence Town, Lawrence Town, Nova Scotia. Uh, it's pretty nice over here. Actually, I'm gonna hit the beach tomorrow. See what it's like over there. Lawrence Town has some nice waves coming in. Uh, right now, I'm on the Causeway Causeway Road. This is where the fishermen, a lot of fishermen coming in here. I, I looked up, uh, I can see a bunch of boats. The fishermen's house is up here. It's a fisherman's wharf. And uh, lobster traps, all that kind of stuff. And what's really cool, right now I'm on Fisherman's Beach. Um, in the parking lot. It says no parking, but hey, I'll wake up nice and early. It's about, it's, it, it, it's, it's almost 1 o'clock. Almost 1 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to wake up at 6.30. So I don't think I'm going to have any problems about the parking situation. And the other amazing thing is here, well, here there's, there's, there's ocean on both sides of, of the causeway. And then I should have a really nice view of the sunrise. Uh, maybe not exactly right here in this parking lot, but just up, up the way at the very end of the pier. At the end of the causeway. So. I'm going to check that out. You could check it out with me too. See you in the morning. So we're just here down on the causeway, causeway road in Lawrence Town. Looks like a little fisherman's wharf. Looks like one of the old fishermen's huts blew down. There's an island out there. Oh wait. Yeah, it's over there. Rat's Rock, I think it's called. Pretty sweet. This one looks like it's taking a bit of weather. Oh, some colors here. Oh. Yeah, so it looks like a lot of these ones here, nobody's here. I guess uh, either it's not fishing season or lobster season or whatever, or they're just uh, not here yet. I doubt that. It's probably just not, not, not the season. <laughs> they're in January, they might not want to go out there, I guess, eh? I don't know. are a little icy here. It said uh, on the road when I was coming in, they only use uh, sand, they don't use salt, so. I guess they get in the salt from the ocean, eh? So yeah, there's a, there's a, I was gonna park over here. Boats parked there. Actually, there's a few few boats parked there. So I parked on uh, Fisherman's Beach, Fisherman's Beach, uh, which is about halfway down the causeway. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a great spot. I could see the ocean on both sides. Um, but I think this will be one of the better spots for a. Uh, These uh, huts go down maybe another, uh, I don't know, 250 meters or something like that. And then there's a, past that, there's a, there's a little clearing and then a bunch of more houses down by the end of the pathway. So this is where they go in, I guess. There's a big old boat.
Hey, Captain. story even. Wowzers. Look at that. Over there. By Rat Island. Or Rat Rock it's called actually. Rat Rock. That's what it is. We're going out into the rough terrain. What is uh, Lawrence Town famous for? Well, the one thing I know it's famous for is uh, surfing, East Coast Canada surfing. You wouldn't really think of uh, Nova Scotia or uh, you know the Maritimes as a surfing kind of place, but it is. like it ends uh, in about a hundred meters here but uh, there's rocks that look like they might go all the way out to to that island over there uh, yeah the waves are pretty high though or high-ish so if you're on those rocks you're gonna get wet for sure Uh oh. Did I try? 
trap myself? Nope. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! Oh! I think I made it. One final last leap for mankind. Hey! Oh yeah! Probably gonna sound really windy, so I don't know what kind of. It's gonna sound too bad. Let's get some help. Oh yeah. Let's hit those rocks, eh? Yeah, not today. Oh, wow, I didn't realize they go all the way up there. It looks like that's pretty wild. All right. that I jumped over it just got a little bit bigger and it looks like that whole area there is gonna be underwater soon and probably over here too so yeah I better get out of here Yeah, I'm gonna check the weather later and we'll see uh, what it's like. Maybe I'm gonna head down to uh, Shelburne, Yarmouth. So, for, uh, so, so if I go to Yarmouth, I'll have gone end to end on uh, Cape Breton, top of Cape Breton, down to the bottom of Nova Scotia. I'll see what else is along the way too. You always find something interesting along the way, won't you? What's the first thing you like to do in the morning when you wake up? I like to do in the morning when I wake up. Uh, well, I guess it depends where I am. But, one thing, well, now, anyways, the first thing I do. And then, uh, well, yeah, if I'm out in the boat, I like to get up early in the morning. Oh, do a nice stretch, feel the body loosen up. Maybe swing my arms around. Oh yeah, feel that, feel that. Blood flowing. Yeah. That's it, that's it. And then depending on the, how I feel, maybe I'll go grab a coffee. Yeah. But not always. Oh, sounds like it's starting to rain now too. Yeah, it's supposed to rain all day. last night he would have told me that's for sure famous Cape Britner Frankie McDonald so what do you think guys could I pass for a fisherman with the beard and everything I don't know if you've ever seen him without the beard but this looks uh, up more like a fisherman right now right hey Captain Eyeliner Lawrence Town on the 
uh, Causeway, Causeway Road. Uh, I think it's actually pretty uh, well known for uh, people come out here to uh, buy lobsters. To buy lobs, fresh lobster as soon as they come in. Don't quote me on that, but check it out. Um, so if you're ever in Lawrence Town, you're feeling like you want to get some lobster and maybe do some surfing. And and the other thing which is cool is they have a, a surf shop called Cannon Beach. Supposedly it's the one of the largest surf shops in Canada. They have a good selection of wetsuits, surfboards, uh, you know, all kind of beach beach goods too. Uh, so I think it's called yeah, Cannon Beach and Surf or Cannon Surf and Beach or something like this. But uh, we'll definitely have to get some swag, eh? What do you think? So, okay, I'm going to show you where I slept last night. It's, uh, it actually says no parking, so anyways, uh, it's winter time. I don't think anybody's gonna be using this beach parking lot, that's for sure. Uh, and I was in I was in here at about 12.30, um, just after midnight. Let's see if you can see that sign. I was in here, see, up at the top there it says no parking. And what does it say? It says, Three Fathom Harbor. Fishing reserve, commercial use only, unless authorized by the Nova Scotia Department of Natural Resources. Whoops. So, yeah. Anyways, this parking lot was beautiful. The one thing I like about it is, see, there's a slight incline. Well, I park backwards. My, my, my uh, platform in the back has a slight decline to the back. So when I parked in backwards, that leveled it out nice. So it's probably one of the best sleeps I had while I've been car camping. Uh, you know, in New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Cape Breton. It's probably the best, one of the best sleeps I had. I gotta check how long this causeway is. But I'm gonna guess. Let me see. I'm gonna guess. It's uh, three and a half kilometers long. I'm gonna check on the map when, uh, when I get to the, back to the end of it. Okay, so that's the end of the causeway. So let me just, I'm just gonna park it up for a second here. Whoops. So yeah, I checked, I, I, I checked the, uh, I'm not gonna let that guy pass. Uh, I checked the distance, so from, the, the beginning of the road here to the end of the road it's uh, 2.5 kilometers but then you, there's the beach and then what I saw on the map is that the it actually the land actually goes out to Rat Rock which looks like an island there's there's two islands there um, and I guess when the tide is low you could actually well you saw the rocks right there's the rocks out there but it looks like there's probably beach there beside there too. So when the tide is low, you could probably walk right out there. And then when the tide's high, well, you're stuck there for a while. And then when the tide goes down, you walk on back. So that probably adds another two kilometers. So yeah, it's about probably about 4.5 kilometers to the end of uh, Rat Rock. Don't quote me on that. That's the first time that my phone will ring. Fuck a windy up today. Oh, There's Terry. He's uh, breaking up the ice for the stairs. At the man cave. 
the man cave here in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. There was a little power outage, <laughs> so I had to drive over here to go to the Tim Hortons. And who do I find? Terry at the man cave. <laughs> Drinking coffees, hanging out. Matthew just dropped by, the gypsy came by. Yeah. Nice warm fire. Another night on the Causeway Road. Fisherman Reserve. Close to Lawrence Town. It's a uh, there's probably maybe one or two people uh, out here right now, but other like on this road, uh, uh, maybe a few more. But most of the places seem like they are uh, uh, dark. No one's in them. No cars out in the front. So I think we're pretty safe here tonight. Nice quiet night. But it's cool. They got street lights. Keep the place lit up. So. Uh, you can see where you're going as you're coming and going from here. And uh, yeah, but a foggy night, foggy, rainy night. It's supposed to be freezing rain all night and possibly tomorrow. Uh, all right, in the sleeping bag. Friday, February the 4th. It's a rainy day today. As you can see, it's a little foggy out, a little foggy. That's the ocean over there. I'm at Fisherman's Beach. On uh, Cogway Road, kind of near Lawrence Town, Nova Scotia. foggy just kind of chilling out so it's nine o'clock uh, the Cannon Beach shop beach and surf shop should be open I'm gonna go check it out first I'm just gonna have a little bit to eat and uh, head over there all right good morning there that go out there. There's a nice strip that goes out there. But uh, the tide looks kind of high. There's this one I was walking on uh, yesterday. It's under the water. So we're not going to do that. We're going to go down to the Cannon Beach and Surf Shop and uh, get some swag. Right, just on the bridge, leaving Dartmouth, going to Halifax, and then moving on down along the coast to uh, Shelburne eventually. Maybe gonna stop by a little cabin in the woods. Uh, a friend of mine has a cabin out there. Gonna check it out. <laughs> 